Good, good, man. Coach, don't you live for times like this? Went out, get the infamous bowl game that the fans are talking about and trying to judge success by. I mean, aren't these the moments that you can motivate your guys to say, this is, we, can, we can be our best and have a great result? Well, I mean, I think you hit it on the head. I mean, right now, man, we've been talking about from day one playing our best football in November. Um, you know, you're consistently trying to get better every single day. So we feel like November needs to be our best month. Um, and the guys are working their tails off. Um, it's been good. Just coming off the bye week, gave them a couple of days of rest. Uh, had a great spirited practice today. Um, you know, looking forward to playing Saturday. So um, we're all excited about it. And, um, you know, see what, uh, see what we do, what we got under the hood. Okay. All right. Thank you. Draw any of your own personal experiences. Was it your freshman year you guys started off like oh, a bunch of losses? Whoa, and then whoa, whoa, whoa. freshman one year. Out. How long ago that is? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm really trying to remember it, to be honest. Um, but if you say so, then we, we must be playing our best football in November. So, you know, that's, that's just one of the things as, you know, as a coach, man, you consistently talk about. Um, that way you, you kind of look at the season and say, okay, we got better from point A to point B. And, um, you know, so, so, you know, like I said, we're looking forward to Saturday. Nick was a guy that we talked about before the season, obviously yeah. a lot, and potential to be there. I guess where, where, are you, where he's at now compared to where you thought he would be at the, at the start of the year and just the impact he's been able to make? Uh, honestly, I, I feel like we're just scratching the surface. I mean, you know, he, he just turned 18, uh, you know, a month ago. So he, at this point, I mean, I mean, he's, you know, a great kid. We'll love to have a room full of Nick Marshes. Um, but from a fundamental and technique standpoint, we got some building to do. So you, you have yet to see the best version of him. You've seen him. I mean, he he's dynamic. He can do a lot of things. He's super coachable. He's a great kid. But but there's some more layers that that we're gonna pull out over these next couple of years. And um, I, I'm excited to see, you know, what heights he reaches, you know, because he, he has all the tools to be one of the all-time greats to come through this uh, place, you know, to knock a whole bunch of guys up out of the top ten and off these walls. So uh, I'm excited about it, excited to coach him. Last time you guys came out of a bye, you played one of your better games, probably the season against Iowa. You guys kind of looking forward to trying that again? You know, you know, there's some areas that you feel like you can make some strides in these last three as an offense. Uh, yeah, I mean, it sounded like you were in our meeting or something, but th that's exactly uh, kind of been the sentiment, is just getting back at it. Um, like I said, the guys got away for a couple of days, just kind of refreshing the mind and the body and getting back and, you know, trying to play our best game. You know, coming off that last bye week, we felt like we, we, we played complementary football in all three phases, and, and that's, what, uh, that's what we're aiming to do, you know, this Saturday is to put it all together, man. Um, it's going to take... It's going to take that to beat Illinois. I mean, they're, they're a really good football team, um, physical team, plays fast, got some playmakers, you know, get after your own defense. So we've got to be on our game in order to beat those guys. What have you seen from Alante since he came back? Well, I mean, he's brought, you know, he's definitely brought speed to our team. Uh, you know, he plays with a chip on his shoulder. You know, he's one of our, he's one of our leaders on offense. I mean, he, he he's one of the few guys that will, if things aren't going bad, he'll step up and he'll, he'll, he'll approach anybody on our team. If 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 you're not playing well, if you're not practicing well, so we need that. Uh, so it's it's been a huge uh, uh, uplift for our team. Um, you know, he's definitely helps us out on special teams. You know, getting some run at wide out. So you know, he he's 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 great for our team. Now you guys like to put up a lot of deep shots. Well, I mean, anytime I, anybody asks me about football, man, it always starts up front, you know. So, I mean, we've been solid up front. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, it, it all has to work together, run game, pass game, you know. Um, you know, receivers running the right route, you know, running backs, picking up the right blitz, you know. So it's been a, it's been a process, you know. It's been a process. There, there's been some games where, you know, all 11 guys have been on the same page, or we got 10 guys on the same page and one guy, 
you know, that's not, and, and it looks a little bit more glaring than it actually is. You know, so I, I, right now for us, some of the mistakes that you have seen, I think you can go into each room. It's not really just been one particular position. Um, but our task is, like I said, is to put it all together this Saturday. Um, you know, O-line, running backs, QB, wide outs, tight ends, make this thing go. You know. was it, did you feel the game against Indiana was kind of a step back? It looked like you guys had a breakthrough against Iowa, and there were some obviously positive things in the Michigan game, but things kind of went backwards a little bit. Uh, I'd say we were disappointed by, you know, we, we, we came out the starting blocks pretty good and, and just did not respond. And, and that was more disappointing than anything. Uh, not so much taking a step back, just just not responding to the, 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 the things that they did to, uh, you know, kind of turn the tide. You know, um, you know, the sign of a good football team is, you know, you got to be able to get up off the ground when you get, you know, when you get knocked down. And um, just, you know, we, we learned from that. Um, you know, we'll be better on Saturday. Who was that? Johnson. Oh, AZ. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, AZ's been playing well. You know, he's, uh, he's got, taken advantage of his opportunity. Um, um, you know, when I recruited him, I mean, I knew he's a good football player. Just needed some time to mature. His body needed to mature. Um, needed to, you know, you know, learn about the college game. Big step from high school, you know, to the Big Ten. And uh, he's done a great job. And, and, like, he's another kid, you know. He's just scratching the surface, man. I mean, he's uh, been put in, put in a position to make some plays, and he's come through. And uh, I'm excited to watch him grow. Hey, Coach, I've heard a couple of mess today. I've looked into that, and there's a lot of still hard things that have to do. Do you expect to get Glover back this week? Um, that's, that's yet to uh, be determined, you know. He's, uh, he's working hard. Um, uh, we'll see on Saturday. I want to ask you about uh, – Jalen Brown, he's been the scout team player of the week a couple times, mm -hmm. I want to say. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, he's not in your rotation, but what have you seen from him? Is he a guy you're excited about for the future? Yeah, he's a young guy that's been, uh, he's been giving our defense problems. You know, even, you know, uh, Coach Blue and Coach Meade have come to me and told me, you know, Jalen, Jalen's working hard, man. So that, that's good to hear. Um, he's a talented young man, just, you know, he's a kid that's going to take a little time to mature to kind of figure this game out, but he shows flashes. And so I'm excited to see uh, see him grow. You know, this spring and this this uh, this spring and this winter will be huge for him. And uh, you know, I, I'm excited. We'll, we'll see what happens with him. Going back to the last two games in the early part, the scripted portion seemed to really be good. I mean, and, and then things kind of you know maybe slowed down. That bit. Did you guys as offensive staff kind of be able to find any reason why it just the scripted portion was so good, but then it kind of seemed to well. I Man, I'd say it was a little bit of both. I mean, there, there are some scripted plays. I mean, some scripted plays that we didn't execute well, and there were some non-scripted that we did execute well. I just think overall, for us as an offense, um, across the board, each position needs to execute better. Um, you know, the one thing about football is, you know, you need all 11 guys on the same page for, like, 75 plays. And our issue has been we've had 10 guys on the same page for 55 plays and one guy kind of, you know, not so dialed into the details. That's our job as coaches, man, to make sure we get these guys on the same page, play after play after play, and playing hard. And uh, and then we'll check the scoreboard at the end. So I, that's that's what we're pushing for right now. And I, I really feel like, you know, that'll happen this Saturday, man. You know, we're we're, we're hungry to get a we're hungry to get a dub, man. We, we need a win. What was that? So, some of some of it's refining it. Some of it is, you know, we're 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 we're, uh, we're harping on just execution as an offense, you know, just as, just as an offensive unit as a whole, um, and, and challenging guys, you know, to be accountable, you know, play physical, you know. So I mean, we we have a we feel like we have a solid game plan. It's about execution now, just across the board.
Um, I really think it, it comes down to the same thing, man. You have got to have all 11 guys on the same page, um, executing at a high level. You know, we play in the toughest conference in the country. And, and if there's any weak links or people aren't dialed in to the details, you're going to get exposed. And that's, that's what we've been pushing and harping on. Um, that's what this week of work will be about. And, you know, I'm really excited to see my guys work, see our team work um, on Saturday. Do you know what those final weeks feel like in the, your final weeks in Spartan uniform? Um, what have you seen from Montori and how he's kind of approaching this last leg? Um, just like it was day one. I mean, he's, he's, he has been, you know, great. The coach has been great for our team, been great for Michigan State as a student athlete. Uh, every day, one of the hardest workers on the field. Um, you know, he, he is uh, just, I mean, he's about his business, you know, whether it's in a run game, pass game, special teams, he does anything that we ask him to do, and nothing has changed. Um, you know, we all, <clears throat> we all start this journey, and they know at some point it's going to end, you know, being in the green and white. But, like, right now, he's just focused on Saturday. You know, there hasn't been any talk like, you know, it's my last couple games or none of that. You know, we're focused on the team itself and getting a dub and, and um, you know, walking around with a smile on his face. Can't wait till Saturday. What does Illinois do well coverage-wise? Uh, they challenge you. You know, they'll, 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 they'll line up and play some man-to-man. -man. Uh, they do a really good job of, of disguising coverages. You know, they'll show you one look and then they'll run to it, whether it's cover two, Tampa two, or, or, or just straight man-to-man. -man. And then they're a physical team. You know, they're going to challenge my guys outside um, from, from a route running standpoint, uh, come up and press guys. You know, so we got to win our one-on-one -on -one ba uh, one -on -one battles. Uh, I think that's what this game will really come down to for us offensively because they'll stack the box and, and, you know, they'll challenge you to throw the ball. And uh, so we got to make sure we're on it. Um, be ready for, you know, whatever – Whatever uh, new wrinkle they decide to spring on us, you know, it's their bye week also, so they may have a couple new wrinkles. But you know, just making sure that we're prepared mentally, physically, and uh, you know, it's a home game for them. Um, you know, uh, it might even be their last home game. You know, so we got to we got to make sure we get off the bus and be able to match their energy once we come out that tunnel. Is the way they describe this guy's coverage is similar to what Indiana did? I know they. Um. Yeah, I mean, they, they, it, it may be similar. You know, it's similar, but, you know, you got, you know, they're, they're, they have a little different scheme than, than the guys down there. Um, but, you know, coverages are coverages. Once you, once you see it and, you know, kind of digest it, you know, we'll be prepared. Our guys will be ready to go. In 2020, you guys had a breakthrough game, obviously, in that second week and beating Michigan. And uh, obviously that was a strange year just because of the pandemic. But, I mean, do you feel like this program is further along in 2024 than it was in that first year of you know, Coach Tucker's? Oh, man. I don't know, man. That was the strangest year of my life. Like, the strangest year, I think, of all our lives, 2020, man. So, um, I, I can tell you this, that the program is in great hands. Um, that, like, like, the sun shining through is not a black cloud over our building. Guys are smiling. Guys are excited to go to practice. Um, so, you know, what these young men and what this program have been through, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at, you know, you know, I don't really care to spend a lot of time looking back. We, we are in a great spot and we're going to do some really big time things here, uh, with these young men that are here and, and they are, if I brought them in here one at a time, you know, each one of them, I'm pretty sure they'd be smiling, telling you that, you know, this is a great place to be. But notwithstanding the results. Oh, it's going in the upper. It, it, there's no question about it. You know, th this we're going to win the Big Ten. It's just a matter of of when that's going to happen. It's going to happen sooner or later. 
you know, like very soon. You know, that, that, is, that is the feeling in the building. Um, you know, you win the Big Ten, you put yourself in a situation to be in the college football playoffs and all that, and who knows, but we have that kind of makeup. We have that kind of people in this building. And, um, you know, the best is yet to come. But it's coming fast. Just know that. It's coming fast. Coaches in Michigan know you, but I'm wondering when you're out, what are, what are people wondering about this staff still in this program? Are there questions or just what's the general vibe about how Michigan State's being received with still sort of a new coaching staff? Um, I, well, you know, the guys, most of, most of the majority of the coaching staff being from the West Coast, you know, I, I get asked about, you know, what kind of guy is Coach Smith? Is he as cool as he looks on the sideline all the time and all that? Um, you know, we, there's a lot of talk about our offense. That the fact that we, we, you know, we launched the rock. You know, so a lot of a lot of the young receivers, you know, they like that. You know, they like is that a game to game thing or is that is that the offense? Um, uh, just in general, I'm trying to think, is there anything that just kind of is there a sense on? of curiosity? I guess in general. Though, oh, there is. There, there really is. There, there's, there, there's a. Our offense is a new look offense for Michigan State. You know, from, it's very different from what it has had been the last four years. Um, you know, guys are intrigued by it. You know, guys have seen. Uh, you know, you know, with social media, you know, just bringing up Nick here. You hear there's a freshman that almost had 200 yards receiving in the game. You know, that that's, you know, that's refreshing. That's that's inviting. You know, to a lot of these recruits out here in the country. So. It's been good, you know. Recruiting has been, recruiting has been good. We've been a little bit more focused in the Midwest, you know. So that that has been a little different, you know. Which which is, I actually love it, you know. It's, uh, you know, that that was that was a little different philosophy than we had in the past. Um, so I'm looking forward to to the next couple classes that we'll bring in. Thanks. Thanks. All good.